North. Alexis McAdams is live for us at Clark in Division. Alexis, what do you see happening there? Good evening. Well, no tension here. It's much different, Tanya, than what we saw all throughout last night. And even when I was trying to get out of the city last night in my own vehicle after my shift was done, it took me forever to get down these same streets. But now they're clear, and that's because police and members of the National Guard have been able to block off those streets here in River North. But what is left behind is some of that destruction that we've been showing throughout the night. But it's not the glass that you're seeing shattered anymore. It's now these boarded up windows and doors. Now, this is the Magian location right here in River North um, just off of Grand and so this is kind of the scene throughout the area lots of boarded up areas and for the second night in a row though a citywide curfew police clearing the streets by nine o'clock sharp and this is just another example of it as we show you completely empty in this area and this is much different than even what we saw in the suburbs so they've done a really good job of keeping people out of this area that was so badly damaged during those protests and uh, mayor was calling out people who came to the protests armed with pipes, bats, hammers, you name it, ready to damage property. So I spoke with Jamal Green about that today, who just got back from Minneapolis, and he talked about his plans to help address the violence in those protests. My message is to folks that are in our communities looting is that we must redirect that energy. The folks with the real power are uh, living up north or in the Gold Coast and downtown, and if we want to protest, um, we want to go down there and speak, put our message in front of them. These people are angry and they have a right to be, okay? Um, this is all of the, uh, the anger from hundreds of years of oppression, okay? We got a police department who continues to brutalize police, uh, people in their communities from the city of Chicago around the country. So this is an uprising, right? Or a revolution, as they like to call it. I'm not uh, surprised at it, um, but I just want it channeled and organized in the best way so that the message can get across. And j -Mall is not the only community activist or protester that I talked to today and yesterday that said they did not want their message to get lost amongst the violence that's breaking out at these protests. They don't want people to remember uh, the scenes that we've been showing you um, and have that overshadow their message. They said they were out here to talk about the death of George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter movement. Once again, stepping out of the way, a live look down here at some of the boarded up windows and areas. But I can tell you, thankfully, much quieter and police have got to be a lot happier about that than yesterday because it was just a mess but still a lot of cleanup to do and a lot of work here in the city of Chicago. We're live right now in River North. I'm Alexis McAdams, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Alexis, thanks very much. 24 hours making a difference there. All right, let's turn again to